It was a whole other discipline to make documentaries. Uh, instead of trying to make f fiction real, to now to, to, to try to find what was dramatic and, and entertaining about reality. I just like that a lot. I'm in the editing room on a, on a fly on the wall documentary I made with President Jimmy Carter um, over the course of several weeks at the end of last year. Life wrote our film. We went on a book tour with him. He, he got a lot of heat from the book. Um, he, and, and, and we were there to capture that and many other aspects of his it, it life. It sounds providential. Do you see it that way? Well, life continues to intervene. I mean, it, and, and it's um, with, uh, with when the, the cous, cousin Bobby, which just looked so interesting to me tonight. I haven't seen that in such a long mm -hmm. time. And um, there we just kept filming and, and, and that's it. He, you're doing what? That sounds interesting. And we filmed it and, and the editor was like, what, what's going to, we'll, we'll find out. And then, and then at a certain point, after, after many shooting days, um, uh, he, became, he, he wanted to go back at, in time. He wanted to revisit different places that were important to him. So I said, okay. So we did that, and the film kind of went into this amazing area that revealed um, one of the most important relationships of his life, which was his association with a, a, um, a Black Panther leader from Jersey City. Mm -hmm. And we, we went back to Jersey City and so and so, so and that became this amazing destination that, that this, this, vi this these visits we had with him. So so anyway, life just ju life or your subject determines what happens, and I think that's thrilling. If you trust your subject, I don't think you'll ever go wrong. The point is that life writes your your script.